I was enthralled by Zoe. I remember especially her little hands just intrigued me, these little bitty fingers waving around in the air. This is the quadruped suite for piano. The first piece is a heavy predator with long legs. The second piece is squirrels in late October. And the third piece is song of a guinea pig. She was composing uh, some little pieces of music. She was impatient. Nothing, nothing ever went fast enough for her. She didn't learn it fast enough. It wasn't te taught fast enough. Nothing was fast enough. She was an only child. I think she was unhappy a lot. Things didn't fit. And she couldn't make herself fit. Such a complicated little being. And I, I feel a lot that we didn't do right by her, but I don't know what right would have been. She was not popular, that I know. Basically, as long as I could remember, I was, I was you know, strange in comparison with what was going on around me. Um, precisely in school, I was always considered weird. And I think she was lonely. She wanted more than anything else at certain times to be the belle of the ball, but she never was. She was very beautiful, but that didn't, that didn't do it. She was so complex and so gifted so much a little girl and so much an adult. It was more than an ordinary mother adult could deal with, I think. I, it's possible that, that we made a mistake. Zoe always had the idea that whatever it was, she could fix it. She would make it work. saw her somewhere and uh, the director somehow got in touch and we were very very cherry of letting her do it we weren't at all sure that she should do it but she wanted to so much and we didn't see any really big reason why she shouldn't do it I must have been nuts. Looking back on all of this, I should never have let her do a lot of those things. Mostly, I think she was sort of formidable. She didn't have enough of little girl stuff. She got too old too fast. It was a, a talented little girl. I'm Zoe Lund. 
writer and actress. 